What's up everybody? Welcome back to Mike's Tool Shed on this one. Some more fine German products from the good people at KC Tools who always include a number two, a bit of thanks, a philo, number two Phillips head bit. And it says, please enjoy your complimentary German made number two Phillips bit by philo tools. Our way saying thank you for your business. Who does that? Nobody does that. You order some like weird Japanese shit from overseas, some toys or something, then they'll give you like a, a Japanese rice lollipop or something. This is something. <laughs> this is something useful. I only know that because my friend orders shit from uh, Japan all the time, but uh, I never have known a tool company to do that. So KC Tools, I'll put a link in the description. Um, I do. I have a affiliation with them um, where I get like a little commission from. Uh, whatever sales go through that link, it does help me out. It helps me buy more stuff. Um, I didn't have enough commission to pay for this outright, but it did help out on the price a little bit. So if you want to help support the channel, click on the link in the description if you want some fine German tools. And they're really, they really are an awesome company to deal with. Uh, this order I put on uh, oh, the comment section, you know, hey, you guys got any uh, stickers cluttering up the place around there? And they sent me like a couple uh, couple extra stickers. I got a KC tool sticker and uh, a wear sticker. So those guys are uh, those guys are really great to deal with. Fast shipping, I really uh, can't say enough about them. So as always with the wear sets, at least this is my second one, um, the craft form sets, then their nicer grade of the handles. They come with this holder and they come in this really nice box. Almost reminds you of like an iPhone box, it's got like a flat black. And on the back, it'll give you some little pictograms here of the features. On this one, we have impact cap, so it's got a hard metal cap on the end, perfect for hitting with a sledgehammer. Uh, you got the hex bolster at the bottom of the shank, so you can put a wrench on it. Here we have uh, the pound through blade, which just shows that it goes all the way to the back of the handle and attaches to the cap. Now this leads me to believe that that may be two separate pieces. So I have to figure out what this material is. Um, one of the considerations as an electrician, I've wanted some striking cap screwdrivers, but I'm pretty damn sure, like almost all of them, all the ones that I could find have continuity from the shaft to the butt. Um, now, you know, you, you take a regular screwdriver that doesn't have that, and you could get away with using it on a live circuit. It's not rated, insulated, but this is definitely a way to get yourself lit up if you're not paying attention or if you're working on something hot and you don't know it. You, you, there are surprises. <laughs> um, here we go. This is uh, Craft Form Ergonomics. It shows uh, the screwdriver in hand, in case you were confused about how to operate these. Uh, Anti-roll design, which means it's got kind of a... Uh, hex shape so that it doesn't want to it's not perfectly round and if it's on on something uneven it's not going to roll off and then black point tips extra durable we'll see the other screwdrivers i have have the laser tip and uh, honestly they that didn't hold up that well they uh my daily use wear screwdrivers have uh that's pretty much worn off they still grip screws really well but um it's kind of it's sort of a gimmick um, I've been told that it, it it helps harden the tip, make it more durable, but I want to see how these black tips hold up. So you open the box and then you get this holder, which you can attach to the wall or a pegboard. And uh, something that's really interesting about this company is that in their catalog, they list this as two different items. Same part number, but two different items. They have a picture of it like this, where you're supposed to put the screw, screwdrivers down in from the top and hang it like that. Or it's a stand for their precision screwdrivers to stand um, the point point up. They list it twice in their catalog. Just once the picture looks like this, and once it's like that. So that kind of attention to detail shows you that they really care about like they care about everything about their products. Um, so you get the holder. I'm going to probably mount this out here somewhere, and then you have another box inside the box, and this is where the screwdrivers are. So you open it up, and there it is. They actually do come, I already opened this. Um, I had an issue with my electrical testers, so I had to start over. I had to fix the testers and start this over. So it comes with this little airbag in here, and here is the set. That's all, that's just a, oh look at that. I wonder what that's for. You've got this little hanger. Anybody has any idea what that's about? That is just the way that it was in there. 
I don't know why. Oh, you know what? Ah, oh, dude, these guys, these Germans. These Germans. I just figured that out. This is some German engineering for you. You've got that in there. And then if you push that up. There you go. And then you want if you have a store, that little tab sticks out the top and that's how you hang it. That's clever. I didn't notice that on the first box. But I'm not oh shit. I'm not hanging that off anything, so that's just a, you know, kind of a moot point. So here we have Phillips number two. Seems pretty good. I got this hex shank. Feels really sturdy. These feel a lot heavier than the other uh, wear screwdrivers that I've had. In fact, they got a good amount of weight back here. The balance of it is, yeah, it's a lot farther towards the back of the handle. They really feel good. They're just like all the other screwdrivers. I just love these handles. These are my favorite screwdriver handles, and that's a little more than half of the reason that I like these uh, this brand so much is their handles are just. It's, it, it's, it's almost like you, if you took a piece of clay and just squeezed it into how you would want a screwdriver handle and then they kind of smooth it out and make it symmetrical and that's what it is. I mean, this just your fingers go right on there. It's uh, the most ergonomic grip screwdriver I've ever used. So you have that Phillips and this one. So you get a number one and number two Phillips and their respective lengths. Nothing fancy here. Just average length screwdrivers. This... Uh, this is about eight inches long. The that Phillips, this one, well, about six and a half. So you can look up all the specs on this on the, on their website or uh, anywhere they're for sale. So you get these two Phillips, both striking cap. They do sound. They are metal. And then you get four flatheads in this set. They do make another set. I was kind of uh, leery about buying that one. It includes a in the in the striking cap is a quarter inch square shank for uh, you to you could you could put a ratchet on the end of it you can plug this right into a, a quarter inch ratchet and then get all that torque but here's the hex shank on the end of it they all have that except for this little baby one this little baby striker striking cap chisel driver doesn't have the cap sticking out the end but I, mean, I really wouldn't want to beat on this screwdriver too much but it does feel a little heavier than uh, their other screwdrivers this size. So you get the, that's the biggest one. I'll measure, I'll measure just this long flat head. That's about nine inches long right there. And then they get a little bit, a little bit smaller and a little bit smaller. Here's the, the three main ones. And then here's the little one that doesn't have the striking cap on it. Pretty good selection. I mean, this isn't uh, anything crazy. This isn't, it's only uh, six pieces, but you know, this is going to cover 95% of anything you need to do with the screwdriver. So, my what I the reason I restarted this is I wanted to see if there was continuity from the shaft to the butt. Um, that's a, that's, I'm an electrician. That's a consideration. I don't really think I'm going to put these in my tool bag because I bet there is continuity, but just to be sure, there is. So, no, you shouldn't use an uninsulated screwdriver, uh, a not electrically rated screwdriver, on a live circuit. They're not meant for that. But it does happen, and, um, you know, like I said, there are surprises. You'll be pretty damn sure that something's not on or in the middle of working on something, somebody goes and flips some breakers. And that is gonna that is a surefire way. If you're grabbing this thing, you're gripping your your skin is gonna be pushed up against this pretty uh, pretty good. And if you're holding on to it, you are definitely getting lit up. If you're uh, any other part of your body is grounded and you're working on something live, this is gonna get you. So I don't think I'm gonna put these in my work tool bag. Um, I'm just gonna continue beating on the Tecton screwdrivers that have been holding up pretty good. But uh, same good quality of all their screwdrivers and these feel a lot better than uh a lot better than the other set that i have because they got some more weight to them i like things that are a little heavier and they feel like more more quality and that's one i mean not necessarily more quality but sturdier something that's heavier it's going to be sturdier so let's see let's let's just beat let's just beat let's just beat on this for a second let's see how it does Not a problem. <laughs> Cap's still in good shape. The tip, I mean, that was, a, you know, that's just my uh, workbench. Tip's actually a little warm from all that friction. 
but it's not going to, these are not, you're not going to have any problem. And the, uh, the way the cap is designed in the end, even if you miss the cap a little bit, you're really not going to screw up anything around the edge. So I think these are going to take years of abuse. These are probably going to stay out here in the shed. Um, I have the Red Bull set down in my uh, basement workbench or around the house. These are going to get some uh, tougher use. And then I got a couple um, of the like green rubber, the standard craft form screwdrivers. I got a couple of those in my work uh, tool bag. So again, this is just uh, it's just good another good quality set of screwdrivers. I, I don't think I'm going to buy another brand of screwdrivers for a while. Um, I know somebody's going to say something in the comments like, oh, well, you should try these and you should try these. Well, I only need so many screwdrivers. I've already got a bunch of them, but I did not have any striking caps, so this does fill a hole that I had in my tool collection. But uh, again, it comes with four flatheads, two Phillips, and this little baby flathead. Let's give this a little beating, see how it does. And not quite. That is through the workbench. <laughs> Now, to get it out, let's see here. Oh, fail. Okay. <laughs> I will say that I was doing way more to the screwdriver than should ever be done. That thing popped right out. Oh man, okay, well, be easy on the little one, that's all I gotta say. I really wasn't expecting that, I thought that the shank would be anchored into the handle a lot better than just kind of slipped in there. Um, maybe this one isn't necessarily considered a striking cap, maybe they just throw it in there to fill out the set. But, uh... Yeah, don't be mean to the little baby one that's in here, because it cannot, <laughs> it cannot, god damn it, yeah, this little one can't handle any, uh, any abuse, like the big boys, I'm glad I did that, maybe I just saved somebody's, these are fucking junk, Vice grips too. All right, well, I'm going to get that out at a later time. I really don't know how I'm going to get that out. No, I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to see what it takes to get it out and see what the end of it looks like. I know. Is there like people screaming at their computers? Oh, what are you doing? Do it like this, idiot. But... I'm kind of kind of reckless sometimes. Here, I use another one to help this guy out. Damn it! I'm not ending this. I'm not ending this till I get this out of here. Uh, huh. God damn it! Let me try. Try this again. These are shitty vice grips, also. They're not vice grips. Got into a. There was a big long discussion about vice grips on another video, and I was really. I, I was entertained by every bit of it, and I actually learned a lot. Uh, one person was posting all about when vice grips were sold to another company, to Irwin, and when they became. Uh, Rice grips. Holy fuck. All right, this might have to wait till another video. <laughs> that was stupid. Some of you guys don't think less of me. Okay, well, that might just be <laughs> a totem, a uh, monument to the little baby screwdriver I really don't know how the hell I don't know if it came out at all how the handles back on there pretty good Arrgh.
All right, this is getting too long. I promise I will get that screwdriver out of there. 15 minutes on a screwdriver set. Five of it was trying to get the fucking thing out of the workbench. But, uh, damn. All right, well, that's it. Thanks for watching. Comment, uh, subscribe. Tell me how fucking stupid I am for doing that. But uh, I, I'm pretty sure that these aren't going to do the same thing. These are going to hold up to, uh, to more abuse. I think that, I feel like this is uh, constructed just as a standard screwdriver with the black tip. Um, it, it doesn't have, it doesn't share any of the construction features of the bigger ones. So. Thanks for watching.